start hating the police. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying the police is your friend. I'm not saying you have to be friends with the police. But if you hate the police, you need to look at yourself. Why do you have such a hate for the police? Let, 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 because obviously it's a fashion now. It's a trend to hate the police, but let's, let's fuck all like the fashion and the trend now in it, yeah? Because like Black Lives Matter and you, all you see is on the news and that. There's people then before 10, 15 years ago, they really had a hate for the police. You have to, you have to really deep it and check it like, why do these people have a real hate for the police? Because a rich multi-millionaire or a celebrity or a man who's just generally on the right path, he ain't going to have a hate for the police. If you have a real hate for the police, it's probably because you're on the wrong path. It's probably because you're looking over your shoulder every 10 minutes because you're, you get me, you're in the alleyway and you're peddling, you're doing something wrong. Me, I don't give up. I don't hate the police. Do you know why? The police don't get in my way. Yeah? Every now and then I might get stop and search or something like that once a year or twice a year or something like that if I'm unlucky. But other than that, the police don't get in my way. Do you know why? Because I'm on the right path. The police ain't seeing me chilling with my bridges in the park, burning weed. The police don't see me driving up and down all day long because I'm licking dots. No, 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 no. I'm locked away. Yeah, I'm working. Now, obviously, my job... All right, with my job, I do drive up and down and that. But more time, man's locked away on a construction site, grinding. Yeah, at least eight to five. If they're offering overtime, eight to eight. When I come home, I'm not fucking around on the streets. Obviously, before I was writing my book or doing the YouTube thing or, you get me, doing productive things at Taekwondo, doing positive things. If you're getting stopped and searched by the police all the fucking time, you have to look at yourself. Why are you so available to get stopped and searched by the police? There's no smoke without fucking fire. Why are you always getting stopped and searched by the police? Man, I've seen videos, man, talking about, oh, I'm always getting stopped and searched by the police, but you got a camera in your face, you're on the road, and I can just tell, these men are really pitched up on the side of the road, outside a fucking shop, just chilling, doing nothing, fam. Why are you jamming outside of a shop? Now, there's man out here, really, like, I see man, like, like, Tottenham and Edmonton and that, I really see man just standing outside of a shop. Why are you standing outside of a shop? I mean, they're not standing outside of a shop because... They're waiting for their chicken and chips and that. Like, these men are just jamming, just chilling outside of a fucking shop. And they wonder why they, they get picked up by the police. You think rich people, people who are, have their own businesses, people who have a purpose in life, people who are on the right path, you think they complain about getting stopped and searched by the police? It don't happen. You know why? They're not even available to get stopped and searched by the police. That, that's what happens when you're on the right path, you know. That's what happens when you're on a positive thing, you know. You're not available to get stopped and searched by the police. So all these men screaming, oh, fuck the police. Uh, there's no smoke without fire. They're up to no good. They're on the wrong path. That's why they're getting stopped and searched by the police. That's why they're getting harassed by the police. They're doing something. If you know someone who... They're always in a bad position in life. Like, the things are always going wrong for them. I'm telling you, yeah? It's probably because... Them, them, them themselves, they're a clumsy person. They're always getting themselves mixed up in foolishness and that. Me, before, oh my God, when I was 17 to 18, every couple of months, I was having a fight with a new person and accumulating more and more enemies. There's no smoke without fire. I was the problem. It weren't the people them out on the street. I was the problem. And obviously, I was running into man, you get me? Man like Justin, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? All right, all right, all right. Let me read these comments now. Yeah, keep, keep them coming, T. Keep them coming, T. Handing in the piece is easy, like, as long as you talk normally and don't try to back out your phone and start shouting in their faces, go viral. So I'm saying. Me, I've only ever pulled out my phone on the police one time, and that was to make a video, because obviously I don't know 
I don't even watch me too, whatever, innit? Yeah. But I've only backed out my phone one time on the police and I actually asked their permission and said, yo, do you mind if I film you, whatever, innit? Yeah. Because obviously I just want to show people on YouTube blood. Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand how a man is getting tasered by the police. You think the police will ever taser me? No, 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 no. The only way I can get tasered by the police is a mistaken identity or someone's made a false accusation. Oh, that person's like putting at me saying, oh, that guy in a white t-shirt's got a gun. That's the only time I'll get tasered by the police. I'm not giving the police no trouble or nothing like that. For them to be backing out their yellow taser and what want to shoot a couple votes, DC and me. No, fam, it's not happening. It's not happening. I will never get tasered by the police because I know how to play the fucking game. That's what I'm saying about these people. They claim that they're rolled. They claim that they do or used to do rolled. But then you're getting twisted up by the police every minute. If you was really a rolled man, you was really out here on the street and you really used to get stopped and searched by the police all the time, you would know how to deal with the police. You would have experience. So what is it? Are we, are we lying about doing rolled and that? Or are we just dumb? Or is it both? If you really, if you really was a road man and that, like, yeah, if you don't like the police, all right, you don't like the police, but you'd know how to handle them. You'd know how to avoid getting twisted up and, and tasered and fucking man killing you on the floor and that. Now, obviously, there's a few odd occasions and that where the police doing some madness or whatever in it. Yeah, at the end of the day, police are human beings and there's some people who are evil. And what can I say? But other than that, me personally, I ain't getting twisted up by the police on the floor and that. No, it's not happening, fam. It's not happening, fam. It's not happening. And in today's society, <laughs> see, this is the thing as well. The hate for the police in the black community is so strong that you're not considered a black person unless you fucking hate the police. You're not considered to be a normal member of the black community unless you have a hate for the police, which is fucking so stupid. Me, I don't hate the police. I don't love the police. I don't give a fuck. They're just people who work and I have no interaction with them, except for the odd occasion here and there. But... The, the the narrative that's pushed out here is, oh, you're not considered to be one of the black community if you don't have a hate for the police. I watch videos all the time and I see the comments underneath and you even got gal talking about, yeah, shoot them pigs dead. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. Shut up, man, about shoot the police dead and that. Bro, these are the same people who, if their grandma got murdered or their family member got murdered, they would want someone to bring that person to justice. Well, who's going to do it? It ain't going to be you going out there with citizens arrest. It's going to be the police. These are the same people. If their yard got broken into, they're going to call the police. Or if their child got kidnapped, they're going to call the police. So, so what is it? So, so, so we hate the police when they're arresting people that need to get arrested. Yeah. But then what? We, we need the police service when, when it suits us. So I'm saying, man, all this hate for the police is bullshit, man. Yeah, don't get twisted. The police can be annoying, innit? Yeah, the police can be annoying. Yeah, I'll put my hand up and say, yeah, the police can be annoying, innit? Yeah. But other than that, I don't hate the police, fam. I don't hate the police. I don't give a fuck. I don't interact with them like that. Yeah. I see them, I see them looking at me. And the reason why they're looking at me is because I know, they know that a lot of young black men come up from London. To Northampton to sell drugs. That's probably why they're looking at me. That's what I think when they see, when they look at me. Yeah, I think. Oh, I wonder if they're confusing me with one of them man that's coming up here to uh, trap and bust shots and that. Yeah. And whose fault is that? That that it ain't the police's fault for thinking that. Um, you know, street-looking young black men are, are selling drugs in Northampton. It's young black men's fault. For having that reputation, like people don't just do you lot think that white people are dressing up as black people pretending to be drug dealers? No, 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 no. Boris Johnson ain't pretending to be a drug dealer. Yeah, Boris Johnson ain't dressing up as a fucking a drill rapper and coming up to Northampton and selling drugs. It's young black men from London or wherever you want to call it, like Timbuktu, Leicester, and that coming to Northampton selling drugs. I know, man, from my ends. I told them I live up in Northampton. They said, oh, we got a line up there. I said, oh, my days, fam. 
The man said, I said to a man, I live up in Northampton. He said, but we got a line up there, you know. A line, if you, you post people like Nadia and that, a line is, yeah, a drug line. <laughs> the man is selling drugs here. Yeah, they got a spot there, innit? I mean, myself, oh my days, fam. This is the shit I'm talking about, fam. A man want to talk about being victimized by the police. Come on, man. Come on, man.